So new performance results for the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G Renoir APU have been posted and they reveal its general and graphics performance capabilities in various benchmarks. The latest benchmarks come from Chipel, where a Foral member has acquired an engineering sample of the said APU and tested it under various performance metrics while hinting at us at its graphics prowess. See, the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G Renoir APU tested is an engineering sample, and while we've already seen samples with the final clock speed being tested, this specific variant doesn't feature the final clocks and runs at a base 3 GHz base clock and a 4 GHz boost clock. Now for comparison, the Ryzen 7 4700G and the Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G would officially clock in at 3.6 GHz base with a 4.45 GHz boost. This means that the silicon used by the leaker wasn't what we expect from the final models, but still, the general compute and graphics capabilities are there, and that's the main highlight of today. See, the testing was done on the Aorus B550i Pro AX motherboard with two 8GB DDR4 sticks. So 16 gigabytes total. Now this specific version is not mentioned, but the DDR4 DIMMs were clocked at 4300 megahertz with the Infinity Fabric Link speed at 2100 megahertz. We've already seen the FLCK of 2200 megahertz with DDR4 4400 megahertz in the latest benchmarks, which once again points out the early design nature of this particular chip. Now the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G APU was overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz across all cores, which is a 300 megahertz bump over its standard operating clock of this engineering sample with the four gigahertz single core. So for cooling, the leaker mentions a 240 millimeter AIO liquid cooler inside an ATX case and also points out the Noctua NHD 15 heatsink with liquid metal thermal paste. So both are high end cooling solutions, even for an eight core APU. So the coolers are not an issue here. Now the user reports that to hit the 4.3 gigahertz, he had to push the voltage to 1.34 volts and Z CPU Z is, you know, reporting incorrect voltage here under the stress test. The CPU hit a max temperature of 76 Celsius across all cores. It is reported by the user that the Renoir APU does get slightly hotter than the Ryzen 7 3800X 8 core CPU, which could be due to its monolithic nature. So let's talk about the performance benchmarks, and they do note that they were running at 4.15 GHz at 1.27 volts across 8 cores. Now starting off with the benchmarks, first up we have IDA64 results where the APU hits 4.3 GHz on the CPU and DDR4 4300 MHz gets it around 62.8 nanoseconds latency and respectable overall memory bandwidth numbers. They aren't anything as stunning as ones we've seen more recently, but the leaked, uh, leaker acknowledges that the final retail CPUs fare much better in this department than the engineering sample ones he has access to. Now in Cinebench R15, the APU scores 2,079 points in the multi-score test. In Cinebench R20, the APU scores 4789 points in the multi-core test. Despite lower clock speeds of the engineering state of this chip, it matches the same performance caliber of the Ryzen 7 3800X in Cinebench. Now in other tests, including Super Pi 1 million run, which the chip was able to finish in 9.938 seconds. And lastly, we have CPU Z benchmark in which the Ryzen 7 4700G scored 507.8 points in the single core and 5,621.2 points and the multi-core bench. Now compared to the Core i9-9900KF, which runs around five gigahertz clock speeds, the ES Renoir APU will offer around a 5% better multi-threaded performance, but the Core i9-9900KF took a 6% lead in the single core test. Now based on this, the final retail chip will have no problem matching or even outpacing the Core i9-9900KF. And well, for that measure, the Core i7-10700K and single core performance metrics. The leaker also tested out the graphics capability of the Vega 8 GPU on board the Ryzen 7 4700G and found it to be a very capable graphics solution. Now the ES chip had Vega 8 GPU running at 1.7 GHz instead of the final 2.1 GHz clock speed and to fix that the leaker overclocked the GPU to 2.4 GHz with the DDR4 memory at 4200 MHz. And of course, no screenshots or pictures were posted by the leaker, but he did share some of the performance results in 3D Mark Firestrike. And the AMD Ryzen 7 4700G scored around 5100 points in the 3D Mark Firestrike performance and about 2700 points in the 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme benchmark. And once again, these benchmarks results are not final on base file final silicon and expect the driver's performance of those to be much higher. Now compared to the Radeon RX 5500 and RX 4600, 
The AMD Vega 8 GPU performs much better in 3D Mark Firestrike and performance is almost around that of the GTX 950. I know that's an older card, but that's nothing to shake a stick at. For comparison, you know, just to reiterate, the Radeon RX 5500 scores around 38 to 3900 points in the same benchmark. It's impressive since those are supplemented by faster GDDR5 memory and higher power limits compared to the constrained nature of the Vega 8 GPU built in to the APU. The AMD Ryzen 4000 Renoir APU lineup is expected to be introduced on the 21st of July as indicated by our sources previously, so expect AMD to share more official performance data in the coming weeks. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.